Hey guys, it's Lena, and this layout is my fifth process lay, uh, process video layout. And I'm so proud because I'm 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 keeping up. It's taking me a time, but I'm keeping up. So I'm gonna try my best to continue to keep up. So this uh, layout here is of me, my husband, and my itty bitty daughter. She was tiny here um, at Starbucks. So. We are a Starbucks loving family and there's no shame in our game, <laughs> okay? Um, so guys, there's nothing in my daughter's cup, okay? Just so you know, I'm not feeding my daughter uh, coffee or that kind of stuff. It was just the cutest cup that the barista came over and gave to us and um, we just, we had to document. So love our Starbucks baristas up here. Um, so the paper that I used, I used some um, Bow Bunny Back to Basics, and that's that teal polka dot that I'm matting the picture with right now. And the back of that is that chevron, so you can see like it's double-sided. So I took advantage of that and used both sides. And I actually matted the actual picture with some dark teal cardstock. So really wanted the picture to be defined there between all the bluish green shades and then you'll see me pull out these like random strips of paper and I'm having trouble with my ATG does anybody else does that happen to anybody else because that happens to me all the time and there's some days where I cannot make my ATG gun work like it's so wonky I think it's the way I stored my um my adhesive so that's what I learned from Amy R. So I hope she's right. So I started storing them. My my new adhesive that came um, differently, flat. So anyways, like I was saying, the last two sheets of paper that I used, so the one that I'm cutting now and the one before that, I'm pretty sure, like I cut the labels, the branding strips off of those because they wouldn't fit in one of my storage boxes. So I cut, um, though I'm pretty sure that those are two pieces of Recollections uh, card stock that I'm, that I'm using there. So that's that. Sit down, buddy. Sit. Good boy. So I'm just matting everything. And I really wanted to emphasize um, the coffee color in the back. I don't drink coffee. I'm a tea girl. I'm actually allergic to coffee, believe it or not. Um, so, but that doesn't mean that I can't create a Starbucks layout, right? So I used like a, it was like a craft, light craft on dark craft, or maybe like cream on crafts, kind of very minute scaled uh, chevron print. There you'll see in the background. And that to me um, suggested like a coffee color and coffee with milk, obviously, or cream or, you know, whatever you, whatever you prefer, coconut milk, skim milk, soy milk, whatever. Um, and the greens, I want, I was going to play on the greens. So, but I decided to take it in a bluish green kind of direction. And, um, so that's my layout, my color scheme thought process for you guys. So this is where I realized that my camera stopped recording was when I put on those Starbucks letters. Well, that's say Starbucks. Um, those are from, let's see here, those are from Basic Gray, and those are chip, chip stickers, chip stickers, yeah, in the Wander collection, and they're like the most perfect Starbucks green ever. So before I did that, uh, you saw that I put down some polka dot, that's from, that paper's from We Are Memory Keepers, and it's uh, a vellum sheet of gold polka dotted paper, it's just my favorite. Love it. I only have like a tiny little bit left of it that I'm kind of hoarding. Um, I usually buy doubles of things that or triples of things that I really like. And in this case, I didn't. I don't know why. I'm lo looking through my stash. I'm like, girl, you didn't buy something to go into the hoard vault. So kind of regretting that. But there's nothing I can do about that now. Life goes on. So here I'm taking Simple Stories Do-It-Yourself Alphas. And I'm spelling out our Starbucks loving family because we are. <laughs> and I like the way the cream looks against the uh, background and against the gold uh, vellum. 
these die cuts I made, oh gosh, so long ago. I just, I printed something else out, I printed them out on cardstock and then I fussy cut everything and just assembled everything together. And I've had them in my stash, I've been meaning to use them on a card, on, I don't know, something. And then as, as I was looking through my stash of die cuts, I was like, oh god, you're kidding me, like I have coffee cups, so it went perfect with, um, the layout for today and so I just put two of them down and there's a stir stick from Starbucks that I'm going to use so I whip out my hot glue gun put some at the tip of it and just stick it in between the two cups so there's my actual Starbucks element so that was that I like the way that that looked and then I think I'm going to reach for my uh, yeah, my color shine from Heidi Swap, and this is in the gold, and it's my absolute favorite. Like, I use this, I think, on the majority of my layouts. It's either I use gold or black, which is okay, you know, we like what we like. Um, but I just, I love this gold. It's, it's so shiny and metallic and I just love it. This is where I have the bright idea that the paper is just not doing it for me. And I need to cut it down so I can mat it on another 12 by 12 sheet of paper. So I very, very carefully cut off a quarter inch from two sides. And I didn't want to cut off everything from the top. So I just kind of uh, cut a small amount. And then turned it over and cut some off the bottom too. So technically, I guess, off of three sides. And then I'm going to mat it on a dark piece of... Uh, dark green piece of cardstock and I just think it frames there it is I just think it frames the whole layout nicely so a lot of people comment that I use a lot of tape I do deal with it <laughs> it's my tape they're my layouts I hate being heartbroken that you know when I look back and things fall off so I overcompensate so that's for all you extra tape users what what hey what's going on you know that's us Thanks so much for watching, guys. Take care.